So back in April of this year, I found a copy of this on eBay, and it was actually fully sealed, brand new. <clears throat> As you can see, there's no barcode on it at all. This is the physical Blu-ray release from 2010 by ASB, as they were called at the time, Airshow Buzz. It's got that PBS uh, special. That's what Horseman Cometh One Hour Special is. They aired it on PBS back in 2011. So I guess they released it physically, and then they put it out as a PBS special. Anyway, you open this up. I've never done, like, an unboxing video or anything, so bear with me, please. So there's the Blu-ray. And it's an actual, you know, legit pressed Blu-ray disc. And the same can be said for the CD. Curiously, they put the 12 minute piece before the four minute. And personally, I've always played the four minute first, like an overture introduction to the 12 minute piece. So it's kind of interesting that they reversed them on this disc. I didn't know they did that. And this is also a press disc. This is not a CDR. But the most unfortunate aspect of this disc is that I ripped it and I used one of those audio spectrum analyzer programs to see it is the exact same quality as the 192 kilobyte MP3s that were part of that digital download package of the same material. And then I compared that to the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray was not much better. And that's in Dolby Digital Stereo. And then the 256 kilobyte AAC files that iTunes sold back in, I think, 2011, 2012, I can't recall which. Those actually, based on the spectrum, looked the best. And just playing them off my system, I think the iTunes files sounded the best as well. So this is literally just MP3s burned to CD, or pressed to CD, I should say. And as you can see, yeah, it's a reversible cover. And so... I'm glad to have this as a physical product, but at the same time, I feel gypped big time. Like people paid through the nose for that digital download package at the time. And the videos were only 720p. At least this is a 1080p Blu-ray. So, I mean, I guess you get marginally better quality there. But the fact that they didn't even go to the loss, the uncompressed, not even lossless, uncompressed master and press a CD based off of that. I mean, that's just sort of ridiculous. So, here it is. Uh, I saw a comment from Roger Feigelson uh, asking if there was ever a physical release. Well, I guess technically speaking, there was, and here it is. Um, from my understanding, and of course JB will confirm this, because he could, uh, the rights for this are solely with Ed Shipley, because He's sort of the uh, founding member of the Horsemen. Airshow Buzz as an organization does not exist anymore. Has it for years. Uh, they gave it up. Don't know why. But uh, yeah, even for a time, uh, one of the pilots here, what was his name? Not Friedkin. Uh, Beasley. He left, and then he was replaced by Steve Hinton, and then Steve Hinton is gone, and now Beasley's back. Do they still fly to this music? I believe they do. So that's pretty touching that they still fly to this. It's pretty awesome music. And so, yeah, if uh, Entrada or someone else uh, converses with Ed Shipley, um, I'm sure he would probably jump at the chance to release this music officially in a much more um, accessible form. I mean, they had it on iTunes for a minute, right? Anyway, here endeth my... <laughs> endeth... My horseman cometh. Sound like I have a lisp now. Uh, video. Um, so this is Nick, aka Avatarded, aka I used to be part of JHFM as well. Uh, signing off. There's my cat.